Processing a list of items is one of the most common development tasks. But which development style, object-oriented or functional, handles it better? Imagine we have a list of orders to process. In object-oriented design, you might create a class called Order Manager that takes care of everything related to orders. This class stores the orders and includes methods such as processing orders and shipping orders. With OP, you are typically calling methods inside classes and letting these classes manage the data by communicating via messages. Check my video about OP here. Everything is wrapped up in objects which can make your code feel organized. However, if you have many classes, it might start to feel spread out and harder to track. Once my OP code tried to organize a party, turns out it had too many classes and not enough methods. In the functional programming style, instead of creating a large class, you use functions like map that transform each item, filter selects which items to keep, and for each performs an action. Each function performs one simple task, making the code clear and direct. But what if we get an error during the order processing? In OP, you may add a try catch block inside your processing loop. This way, if an error occurs while processing one order, it won't stop the entire process. In the function style, you can integrate the handling directly into the function chain. One way is to wrap the processing in a try-catch block within the lambda expression, returning a default value or null in case of an error. You can then filter out any null results. Both object-oriented and functional have their strength. If you like organized classes and methods, OP might be your style. If you prefer straightforward step-by-step transformation, you might love functional programming. Which style do you prefer and why? Write in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more coding tips and stay in tech.